Tabla. 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 Tabla.
Não foi, Gigi. Mais pra sete ciclos. Ó, de dois, três, três, três. Hello. 15 plus 5 equals? Mm, I know. For this, all zero and two. Then two zero, twenty. Twenty plus seven equals? Plus forty. Uh, eighty. Eighty plus five. Eighty five. Eighty five plus six. Ninety one. Ninety one plus seven. Uh, Ninety eight. Ninety eight plus two. My name is Yuneshwara. I am going to talk to you about spring balance. 
A spring balance is an instrument consisting of a book attached to the end of a spring, used for weighing objects. It works using the principle of Hooke's law, which starts the force needed to extend a spring is proportional to the distance that spring is extended from its rest position. A spring scale now cannot measure mass only weight. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nitish Krishna. I am studying the standard B section. Now I am going to tell about safety in classroom. Do not play and run on stairs. Do not push others while playing. Do not push when you get into school bus. Do not play with electrical gadgets in classroom. Thank you. Hi friends, this is Sipis. Today I am telling about adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns. Example, color, shapes, numbers, etc. of the person, place, animal or things. Adjectives. Which one? How many? How much? What kind? Degrees of adjectives. Positive degree. The positive degree is used to refer to one object, person or place without making any comparison. Comparative degree. The Compare the compare degree referred to a greater degree of adjectives or compared to the positive degree. It is used to compare the object of people or place. Superlative degree. The superlative degree. Refer to the greatest degree of the adjectives. It is used to compare more than two objects, people or place. Degree of comparison. Positive, comparative, superlative. Big, bigger, biggest. Long, longer. Longest, fast, faster, fastest, old, older, oldest, wild, wilder, wildest. Thank you. Hello, my name is Anand Riju. I am going to explain about compass and its directions. A compass is a tool to find directions. The four directions are north,
north to south, east and west. A simple compass has a magnetic needle mount on a short pin. A ne the needle f spins freely and, and always points at north. A compass works because Earth is a huge magnet. A magnet has pain two main center of forces called poles, one at each end. The magnet points to north because, because it lines up with, with the earth's line of magnetic forces. Now I am going to show you how to make a compass. First take a plate, place a bowl, then take a needle. Needle and a magnet. Rub the magnet on the needle. Take a paper and write North, South, East and West. Now place, place the mag, place the needle on the paper. Next, pour the water into the bowl. And now, place the compass in the water. Now, you can see the it is our compass is pointing to north just like in the mobile and you can see when you turn it right here it also spins thank you Hi, my name is Dinesha. I am studying third standard section A. My topic is feet and thirst. Flesh eating birds. Some flesh eating birds like horse and eagle have strong, sharp and curved claws called talons. These help them to catch small birds, poaching birds. Poaching birds like sparrow, minors and crows have three toes in front and one at the back. These types foot helps the birds to hold on to a branch. Climbing birds. Birds like woodpecker and parakeets have two toes pointing upwards and two pointing downwards. These toes help them to climb on tall trees. So, scratching birds. Scratching birds like hens have strong legs with three toes in front and one toe at the back. These help them to take the ground to bring out the insects. Swimming birds. Swimming birds like duck have webbed feet. They have three toes in front and one toe at the back. The three toes are joined by skin which is called a web. Fading birds. Birds like crowns and herons have long legs with the spread out toes. They can wade through muddy water without getting wet. Thank you. My name is Afrinesha. I am studying 4th standard. Today is my topic is Himalayas. The Himalayas are some of the greatest natural wonders of the world. The Himalayas are the third largest 
deposit of ice and snow in the world. Let us see importance of the Himalayas. The Himalayan mountain is very important for our country. Let us see how these mountains is useful for us. They act as a natural barrier against the invasions of the enemies. The mountains protect us from the cold winds coming from the north. These mountains trap monsoon winds coming from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal, which cause heavy rainfall in India. Many rivers like Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra originate from the Himalayas. Water of these rivers is used for domestic and industrial, industrial and irrigation purposes. The Himalayan forests provide us with wood and many kinds of herbs. The forest areas of these mountains serve as home to many wild animals. The Himalayan ranges have developed a large number of tourist spots like Amanath, Badrinath and Shimla. So we keep the nature clean and save the nature. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Sayesh from 4th grade. I am going to tell about importance of nutrients. Nutrients provide nourishment to our body. There are seven important nutrients. They are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fiber and water. Carbohydrates and fats are energy giving foods. Carbohydrates gives us energy to do work. We get carbohydrates from sugary and starchy foods. Rice, wheat and potato are rich sources of carbo-rich sources of starch. Fats. Fats gives us more energy than carbohydrates. It keeps us warm. Extra fat is stored in our body for future use. But we should not have too much of fatty foods. It can spoil our health. We get fats from oil, oil nuts and butter. Proteins. Proteins are body building foods. It helps our body to grow. Since we are growing, we need more proteins than an adult. Uh, we get proteins from fish, meat, milk, egg, cheese, peas and pulses. Vitamins and minerals are protective food. It keeps us fit and healthy. Vitamins help us to fight against diseases. We get vitamins from fresh fruits and vegetables. Minerals. Minerals help in the formation of teeth, blood and bones. Examples of minerals are calcium, sodium, potassium, iron and iodine. We get minerals from fish, meat, liver and milk. Fiber. Fiber helps our digestive system for functioning properly. We get fiber from fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. Above all, water is essential for our body to function properly. Without eating food, we can live for up to 2-3 to three days. But without drinking water, we cannot live for even a single day. To stay healthy, we should have right amount of all the nutrients. We should drink 2-3 to three liters of water every day. Eat healthy and live happy. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lohan. I want to tell about decimal. A decimal is a fraction that is eaten in the form of a dot, followed by one or more numbers which he present tens, hundreds and so on. Example below. In 10 parts, one part is shaded, so it is eaten in 0 0.1. In 100 parts, 26 parts are shaded, so it is eaten in 0 0.26. Example key. Addition in decimal. 0 0.35 plus 0 0.52 equals 0 0.77. Water was in the chart. Example 4. Subtraction in decimals. 0 0.64 minus 0 0.33 equals 0 0.31 water was in the Thank you.
Counting. Counting by tens. Counting by ten. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty.
name is Saranika. I am from 5th grade. My topic is major landforms. Major landforms are mountains, plateaus, plains, deserts and rivers. Mountains. Mountains is a landform which rise more than 900 meters above than sea level. Desert. Deserts have very, very hot days and cold nights. Plains. Plains is a flat and low-lying surface. Rivers. Rivers are natural channels that carry rainwater or water from uh, melting ice and snows. From mountains to plains. Plateaus. Some plateaus are very large and extend over 100 of kilometers. The Deccan Plateau in India is the example. Thank you. I am going to talk about balloon car. When the end of the star is aimed by backward, the air pushes your car forward. That is described by Newton's third law of motion. The, the more you can inflate the balloon, the more potential energy is stored. When the turn is converted to more kinetic energy, according to the law of conservation of energy, so the so the car is will go faster. Thank you. Hi friends, my name is Logi Kisha. I am studying in fifth year. I am going to tell about a burning candle tip inside a jar does not burn for a long time. Mm. Air contains oxygen which is needed for burning. So burning candle kept in, in a jar, it does not burn for a long time. As the oxygen inside the jar gets used up and the candle cannot get oxygen to burn. Thank you. about shapes. A shape is a space enclosed by an outline. One dimensional shape. This is a line. It has one dimension that is length. It can be placed horizontal, vertical or slanting. Two dimensional shape. This is a rectangle. Two dimensional shapes are plain. If you want to draw a rectangle, you have to know about length and width. Three dimensional shape. This is a cube. It has three dimensions. That is length, width and height. This is a oval. It has zero sides, zero corners and it has curved lines. This is a pentagon. It has five sides, five corners and it has straight lines. This is a square pyramid. It has faces means a flat surface. It has one, two, three, four and five faces. Edges. 
It just means a line where two faces meet. It has one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight edges. Vertices. Vertices means a point where three or more faces means that is corner. It has one, two, three, four and five corner vertices. A square pyramid slides. We can stack it on another object and only once. This is a cylinder. It has one and two faces. It has zero edges and zero vertices. It can slide and it can roll. We can stack it with the same ob object or another object. We can do it many times. They are eyes, nose, ear, tongue and skin. First we are going to see about eyes. Eyes help us to see beautiful and colorful things in the world. Eyes help us to identify the things by seeing their size, shape and color. Second, we are going to see about nose. Nose helps us to we breathe and smell things through our nose. Air enters our body through through the nose. Air in the nose trap the foreign particles and help us to breathe in clean air. Third one is Ear. Ear helps us to hear different sounds around us. If our ears are working well, we, we hear sound all the time. We can't touch our ears off even when we are asleep. Fourth one is tongue. Tongue helps us to taste, chew and swallow foods as well as for speech. The taste buds present on the tongue. There is difference between salty, sweet, sour and bitter. Last one is skin. Skin is the largest of all the sense organs. Sense organs. And Help us to feel. The sense of touch is distributed throughout the body. It also helps in protection, protection of. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rihari Prasna, studying grade 6 b Today, I am going to do a project on a science expo. The project name is making a small a pattern. So, first, so we need the things required is uh, six paper clips and a uh, paper. So, first we in, we do 
With this paper clip, we should first make some. We should attach each other. So let. So I'm going to attach these paper clips. So I have attached all the paper clips. So this with with this paper clip we can make more patterns like triangle. And circle. We can make more patterns like this. So the size Science behind it is one. This experiment is based on a study on of a prob probability. In this case, uh, in this case, how many patterns you can make in each activity? The more paper clips or elements you have to work with, the greater number of patterns you are able to make. The number of possible patterns increases faster than the number of clips you add. This is the science behind this, this project. Thank you.